Well, I am back. This is uh, Sunday, and I am going to try to get my battery working. So, if you're new to the channel, this is my bus. Uh, I like it, and my batteries blew up. I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, fix it. I ended up getting some lithium batteries, some server rack batteries. Um, they've worked great. And now I'm trying to um, get this to work to start my uh, Victron inverters. And uh, so I've got this new battery up here. So I've got these two down below and this one up here. And what happens is <clears throat> when you turn your battery on, I've got some inverters over on this side uh, and they have large capacitors. I've got two of them uh, running in split phase. And when you turn a battery on, um, what happens is, is it kind of creates a dead short. And so then it's like a huge spike. And so then the battery's BMS, it says, hey, it's uh, too much current, shutting itself down. So this battery, the top one, is supposed to have a resistor in it. The bottom ones are too, but they didn't work. And so the top one was supposed to have it and uh, it didn't work. And so what I'm wanting to do today is to unhook one of the inverters and see if that would make it work. So what I'm gonna do is uh, show you what's going on and then I'm going to unhook a fuse and see if it starts. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I've got this, uh, this is my 12 volt, so it's turned off and this is my battery system. So what I'm gonna do is turn it on and uh, the battery will turn on and the screen should turn up. So what I try to do is turn that on and it says protection. So there was a dead short. So I'm gonna turn that off, turn this off. And uh, what I've got are these fuses up here. And um, this one and this one go to an inverter. So what I'm gonna do is drop the fuse from this and see if it'll start the other inverter. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. So, all right. So you're filming? Yeah, it turned All right, on. it's fine. So what I've got now, so I'll turn this on and uh, we just, we've got one inverter. And it's on. So it'll start one inverter and I can turn the uh, Bolt on. Um, so that's working. So I can do one, I just can't do two. So it's kind of the info I wanted for right now. So I'm going to turn this off and this off. And uh, I'm going to leave this here. Put this back. So the other thing I've got, there we go, is uh, this heater. I don't want that to, if it were to turn on, I don't want it to do anything. Alright, so that turns on at 39 and turns off at 51. I'll just leave it right here. 
All right, so what I've done is figured out that this new battery will start one of my inverters, just not two. So now I'm gonna try to figure out what to do. Um, I'll come back later and see, try to charge the battery. Whoa. Yeah. We'll come back and try to charge the battery. Um, and uh, try to figure out a way to do, uh, to start that uh, with two inverters. So like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, I've got my bus here, I've got that battery in there. And so you have to pre-charge the inverters before you connect a battery. And so these new batteries, they're supposed to have an internal resistor inside so that you don't have to. And so it's kind of like splitting hairs. It's um, over the top. It's like I just turn it on and everything works. So that's like the best case scenario because ultimately um, I'd like to come in here and when I put it in storage, turn my batteries off. And then when I pick it up, I just turn the batteries on everything works and I drive out of here. So I don't really have to keep my batteries on, the inverters on, the coach on. I can just winterize it and shut it off. So working on that. The other thing I wanna come back and work on is that top battery is supposed to connect to my Victron system that's installed. And so um, I'm gonna think through how um, if I can start one, how can I start the other? And then I wanna come test if that battery talks to my Victron system. And then it's supposed to, with the software upgrade, talk to the other batteries. Um, the other, like I said before, I've got a um, Purdue home football game coming up uh, next weekend. It's supposed to be like 20 degrees. I think, unless it's gonna snow, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. If uh, anybody wants to come say hi or anything, it's just going to be me. Um, my family is going up to Fort Wayne, so it's just going to be me. But um, like I said, uh, that's good that it'll start one Victron inverter. Um, now I'm going to try to figure out how to get the second. And uh, I'll put a video up when I come back out and try to get it charged and figure it out. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you later.